Hi, this is Kerry from NerdBalloon.com, and you're watching Project D, Episode 3. This week we took a look at Mega Man 2. What would you think of this game, buddy? Uh, it was probably the best out of the three that I played. Um, the thing I liked about it is how you can pick the levels, but on, a, on like other games you can't really, because you have to beat them to get to another level. Right, so this game kind of gives you a look at all eight stages, and you can play them in any order. Um, at whatever time, it doesn't matter, so it's got replayability right off the bat, right? Mm -hmm. What was your, speaking of all the stages, what was your favorite one? Um, Metal Man, when you get his weapons, like, they're, when you get his weapon after you kill him, it's a, a blade and it's easy to kill the other bosses with it. Yeah, because you can shoot it in all directions, right? You can even yeah. shoot it up on an angle, on a 45 degree angle, and straight up and straight down. Yeah. What, what was the, your least favorite stage? Probably, uh... I would have to say Bubble Man. You didn't like Bubble Man stage? No. Why not? Because when you're jumping onto the things, when you're jumping and you see the big frogs and they shoot out the frogs at you, uh, the frogs keep hop, the little baby frogs keep hopping out uh, at you and it takes down your health and you have to shoot the big frogs and it, and it's, uh, it gets annoying after a while. Did you finish any stages? Yeah, I finished Metal Man and I think maybe Flash Man. I okay, so you finished those two. That's not bad for your first time playing. You finished mm -hmm. two bosses. That's pretty good. What do you think about the three items that uh, Doctor Light gives you? You get the hover. You get a hoverboard. Yeah, no. There's you get a like a spring kind of platform type of thing, mm -hmm. and then you get another platform which is kind of which just hovers and moves up. Yeah. Do you think it was neat that they included those in the game? Yeah, but the thing is, is that I didn't get any of those. It'd be neat to use them in some of the levels, but, um, because then you could, like, get, uh, to the end of the level faster, and... Yeah, well, what they do is they give you access to parts of the level where you wouldn't normally be able to get at, to get energy tanks or extra lives. The graphics in this game, how do they rank against the other Nintendo games you've played? Uh, they're probably the best, um, they're probably the best graphics out of the three right now. The sound, the sound and the music in this game. It's alright, it's not the best, but it's alright. The music in this game. Oh, it's alright. The music in this game. Mega Man 2 has like one of the best soundtracks, whatever you want to call it. That's what you think. No, that's what a lot of people, that's what a lot of people think. Okay. The title screen for Mega Man 2. Oh yeah, that's, that's good. That's like one of that's the biggest. Good. That's alright. That's good. It's good. Yeah? I'm not saying it's Did the best Did it get now. you all cranked up to play the game? Well, yeah. A little bit? Yeah. Yeah. What did you find hard about this game? Um, when, uh, you, um, at the end of the boss, like, they, like, say if you, uh, have a tiny bit of life left, like, maybe four little, you know, little those, ticks. yeah, little ticks left, and when you fight the boss, their health goes all the way up, and then they have, you have, they, when you shoot them, they jump, and it's hard to do that, so. So you find, you, you thought it was hard when you did reach the, the bosses for each level, it was hard to shoot them? Yeah. They're moving around pretty quickly, eh? Mm-hmm. Okay, now where does this game rank uh, in regards to the other two in terms of difficulty on uh, scale one to ten? Probably this game was all. It was probably five out of ten, half and half. So it was all right. It's probably the best uh, right now. Five out of ten in, t in terms of difficulty. Yep. Really. But some levels are hard, so. Yeah, like the Heat Man stage. When you have to jump on the on those uh, square bricks and they keep disappearing, you didn't get to that part. But there's a part in Heat Man where you have to cross a huge void and you have to keep jumping from these brick platforms to brick platforms, and it's all memorization. Do you have to uh, 
Have you ever beat it? Yes, I've beat this game. I have. Yeah, right. I have, I swear. There's lots of tricks. You remember I was telling you about that hoverboard that you get? No. It's one of those items. Oh, yeah. Okay. Instead of jumping on those bricks and trying to memorize that, if you play the stages right, you can just lay down your hoverboard, hop on it, and skip that whole part. Oh, okay. Cool. So, yeah, there are some things that make the game easier. Okay, now is this a game that if I gave to you, would you would you bring this home and play it? Yeah, I would. Yeah? Yeah, I would try and beat it. Okay, and that wraps up episode three. Dylan, did you have fun playing Mega Man 2? Yeah, it was a pretty good game, actually. Now we've got two games left in Project D. We've got Punch-Out and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'll give you the choice. Which one would you like to hit first? Um, I don't really know, but which one do you think is better? Well, we've had three platform shooters in a row, so I think a good change of pace would maybe to plug Punch-Out in. All right. If you're up for it. All right. Are you up for it? Yep. All right. Again, thanks for watching, and take care. Bye-bye.